Hi, in today's lesson of division in algebra, we will try and do the division using the factorization method, in which we actually find the factors of dividend and divisor both, and then we try to find out if the factors can be cancelled and we can find the quotient. So here, let me rewrite the dividend again. So dividend we have is 15 a square plus 17 a x minus 4 x square. So first thing we have to do is we have to rewrite this expression in the descending order of one variable. So in this particular expression we have two variables one is a and another one is x but if we see carefully this expression is already arranged in the descending order of variable a. The first term of this expression is 15 a square where the index of a is 2 or the power of a is 2 and the second term is 17 a x where the power of a is 1 and in the last term we don't have any a so their power of a is 0. We can say that this expression is already arranged in the descending power of a. So now let's recall the method of factorization. What we do in factorization? In factorization if we have an expression with three terms we take the coefficient of the first term which is 15 in this case and the coefficient of the last term which is minus 4 in this case, we multiply them and find the factors of that term. So the product of 15 multiplied by minus 4 is minus 60, right? Now let's find the factors of 60. The factors of 60 are 2, multiplied by 2, they are actually the factors of 4 and then we will write factors of 15, they are 3 multiplied by 5. And now since it is minus 60, any one of these factors can be negative, right? It can have either minus 2 or this 2 can be a negative 2 or this 3 can be negative or this 5 can be negative any of these factors can be negative. So let's keep this in mind that one of these factors are negative. This minus sign actually tells us that we have to rearrange these factors of 60 in two groups such that when the product of one is subtracted by the product of another one will give us plus 17. So now let's see how these factors can be rearranged, right? So 5 twos are 10, this is 10, then we have 3 twos are 6, 10 minus 6 is 4 and 6 minus 10 give, will give us minus 4. So definitely this is not the grouping. Now let's see one more group in which 3 fives are 15 and 2 twos are 4, 15 minus 4 will give us 11 but we are looking for a 17. So now let's think about another grouping which can be 5 to the 10 multiplied by 2 is 20 and minus 3 gives us 17. So we have reached our grouping. So now let's apply that grouping over here and try to find the factors of 15 a square plus 17 a x minus 4x square. So this 17ax has to be divided like this 20ax minus 3ax. So now let's rewrite this again. This will be 15a square plus 20ax minus 3ax minus 4x square, right? Now this was our rough work, so let me keep it in a box. Now let's see what we get. This is 15a square and this is 20ax. Both these terms have a in common and both can both have 5 also in common. 
So we will take 5a as common and inside we will have 5 3 is a 15 that is 3 and 1a right and here we will have 5 4 is a 20 so 4 and x right and from these two terms we can have minus x as common so we will have 3a plus 4x right so now as we can see that both the terms have 3a plus 4x in common so this expression can be written as 3a plus 4x multiplied by 5a minus x right so these are the factors of 15a square plus 17ax minus 4x square right actually nothing wrong in doing this division by normal long division method but when you learn this factorization and you practice it this method actually becomes very easy and quick to get the results right so now what we had to do originally we had to divide 15a square plus 17ax minus 4x square by 3a plus 4x right so all these things can be erased and we can directly use the factors of the expression and perform our division so this problem can be written as I'm directly using the factors of 15a square plus 17ax minus 4x square which we have recently found and I think you can see them on screen so I'm directly writing it as 3a plus 4x multiplied by 5a minus x and this thing is supposed to be divided by 3a plus 4x right this 3a plus 4x so let me write 3a plus 4x if we don't need this anymore we have noted down the factors <clears throat> I think now you understand the importance of this method see here this 3a plus 4x which is the divisor is actually one of the factors of the dividend right so this makes our division very easy if we practice the factorization more the division actually becomes very easy we can factorize our divisor and factorize our dividend and we can see we can check if one or more of the factors are the factors of the divisor here we had very simple divisor the indices of the variables were only one so we didn't factorize the divisor otherwise we can factorize the divisors also and factorize the dividend also and then cancel out the common factors and this will this will give us the results as in this case the quotient is 5a minus x right so this is our quotient so I would suggest you to practice the factorization of algebraic expressions more that is going to help you throughout in your life in doing mathematics.